A couple of weeks ago we were instructing and uh, one of the students got a nail in their tyre. Um, as it happened we were able to get the nail out and, and the tyre wasn't punctured. Um, we only had these CO2 canisters with us um, and the student quite rightly asked us well how many of these does it take to pump up um, a tyre on a motorcycle and uh, we didn't actually know the answer so uh, we're going to find out now. So I've got my trusty Royal Enfield, I'm going to let the front tyre down um, the pressures on that are 26 front or 25 front, I run it at 26 a little bit higher um, so we're going to pump up and see uh, how many of these it takes and how long it goes so all we've got really is um, a couple of CO2 canisters now the instructions say that these will go up to 30 psi so let's see how that is Got my mechanic gloves because these things get freezing cold so it's really important that we uh that we have those as well so first things first um let's get the uh the tire um connector on just fits on quite easily like that you put that on first obviously because as soon as you um connect the co2 it actually goes off um as soon as it screws on so we've got that on there and you can see there the CO2 has actually got a, a protector on there as well. So let's try that now and see what happens. Freezing cold, you can see it's uh, already changing, it's almost blue there. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but um, the, the noise has just started it was like an, emer like an emerging um, burst of uh, noise and then it's just started stopped so um, we'll put that. that's actually rock solid now so we'll unscrew that you can hear the air just just escaping ever so slightly and that's off there actually that was come off as well but that's okay and then what we'll do is um, we'll take this off and we'll uh, we'll check the uh, tire pressure completely zero And the pressure is showing um, around 16. So what we're going to do, we'll just try one more and see if that takes it up to the, uh, the, the required pressure. A little less leakage this time. Um, yeah, that's getting really cold. You can actually hear the air going in as well. It's that, I mean, I'd ride on that. I don't think I'd have a problem riding on that. So that, uh, as you can see there, is way up towards 30. Um, I'm actually, I think there's still some in that canister. I think that would take it up to around about 40. So let's just take that down a little bit to uh, how I have the tire pressures. Perfect. And that's bang on. So there you have it. Um, two canisters seems perfect for me for one tire. Um, obviously dispose of them responsibly but for me that's what I'll be carrying in my um, my emergency puncture repair kit for each of my mobile bikes.